Hey everybody, uh, this is a short update video to the PAL flash one that I did the other day. Um, since uh, I posted that video up, several people have, have mentioned that the uh, the spark gap um, between the gap between the two electrodes um, would be uh, way too large for um, uh, triggering this in in air. So um, I'm not quite sure why I didn't didn't twig on this before, but. <laughs> Sometimes you don't see the obvious. Um, so after that was mentioned, I had a quick look at this and yeah, it, it's quite clear that um, this part is adjustable and I found it's actually only finger tight. Um, this comes off and then you can take out the electrode and uh, there is actually um, graduations on it to allow you to adjust it. Um, so you just move this collar up and down and that adjusts the uh, the gap between the uh, the two electrodes. So that was all really simple. So after playing with that, um, I um, I measured the gap to about six millimeters, which is what the um, the document documentation says it, it should be, and um, fired it up and lo and behold it worked, which is uh, which is great news. Now I have tried to do some um, tests with this. Um, they're, they're quite promising. I think we should be able to get some interesting, uh, interesting stuff out of this. Uh, obviously, it's only a single shot. It's just a single frame captured in high speed um, until I start to uh, um, think about how to trigger this properly and actually trigger um, the, the two banks independently so you can get a, uh, a timed um, gap between the two, the two flashes. So then you can start seeing... Um, um, a little bit of motion. Obviously it's really hard to get any of this on video camera so it's I don't have any video footage to show you because it's it's rather pointless. Um, I'm having to do this on with my SLR with a um, on a, a long exposure about 10 seconds where I can um, darken the room come back and hit the trigger button. So obviously that's pointless doing that on video because um, you just end up with a load of darkness, then a big bright flash and then darkness again. And I'll welcome um, suggestions about things to actually um, try and do with this. Obviously, sort of the normal high speed video stuff, you know, you see lighters with lighting like that and um, all that kind of thing. That's rather pointless for something like this because these generate their own light anyway. Um, so you need uh, something that happens that doesn't generate its own light, but in high speed um, and things like that. So we might have to get uh, a bit creative about uh, what to actually do with this. So there will be more videos coming of this. Um, I'm going to go and buy myself a, um, a some argon. Um, actually, that's quite quite easily to get hold of because it's used in 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 welding. Um, so I can just rig up a. Um, a cheap argon canister with a, a small regulator on here to run run argon through here to see what kind of difference that actually makes to the spark. Um, that'll be interesting to see. Okay, here's uh, some of the test pictures that I've managed to get and a little bit of video of actually firing. Hopefully um, this will make some interesting videos in the future. Okay, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.